Paddington Plays On by Michael Bond and R. W. Alley Hi, my name is Werner. I've been reading hundreds of books for you. Please subscribe to get them all. And watch until the end where a surprise is waiting for you. Your mom can help you with that. Thank you. Paddington and the Browns took a trip to France. The people in the village were excited to meet a young bear. The baker made buns just for Paddington. Other shopkeepers waved to him when he walked through town. The next morning Paddington woke to loud noises in the street. Paddington looked out the window. People were dressed in fancy clothes. The shops were decorated with flags. They were filled with sweets and candles. Paddington went to see the baker. He told Paddington all about a special festival in the town. That day there would be a fair, fireworks and a parade. I am the leader of the band and this is my uniform, said the baker. Paddington was very impressed. Paddington and the Browns went to the fair. There was so much to see and do. Paddington tried the slides and swings. He rode the merry-go-round over and over again. Next, Paddington visited a fortune teller. She looked into her crystal ball. You will go on a journey. It will end with a bang, she predicted. When Paddington came out of the tent, he saw the baker looking worried. The band's drummer was too sick to drum. He needed a replacement. The fortune teller predicted a big bang, Paddington said. This could be it. Paddington would join the band. Boom, boom, boom. Paddington practiced with the band all afternoon. The parade began that evening. The baker led the band down the street. Paddington came last. He carried a big drum. He could not see over it. But everyone saw Paddington. The people were thrilled that he was playing in the band. He had saved the day. Everyone clapped. The Browns clapped the loudest. Paddington beamed with pride. The band turned at the end of the street. But Paddington kept marching. He did not see the band turn. He just kept playing his drum. Paddington was tired. His head kept slipping into his eyes. He could not hear the band anymore. The drum was getting heavy. Paddington tripped and fell down. He could not get up. Thump, thump, thump. Paddington kept drumming. The Browns watched the band pass by. Where was Paddington? They followed the sound of his drum. They were so glad to find him. Everyone was thrilled to see Paddington. They cheered for their guest drummer. Paddington and the Browns settled in to watch the evening show. Fireworks! Bang! The sky filled with colors. 
Paddington beamed. It was the perfect ending to an eventful day. Paddington the Artist On Sunday, Paddington was out for a walk with his friend Mr. Gruber when they came across some paintings tied to the railings outside the park. It's what is known as an outdoor exhibition, said Mr. Gruber. They have one here every week when the weather is nice. There are all different pictures, Mr. Gruber explained. This one is called Sunset in Bombay. I'm glad I don't live in Bombay, said Paddington. It might keep me awake all night. How about this one then, said Mr. Gruber. It's called Storm at Sea. Paddington suddenly wished he hadn't eaten such a big breakfast. I feel sick, he said, and he hurried on to the next picture. This is a picture the artist painted of himself, said Mr. Gruber. It's called a self-portrait. I think it looks very like him. Paddington gave the picture a hard stare. I don't think I'll buy any paintings today, Mr. Gruber, he said. Paddington looked very thoughtful as he made his way back home to number 32 Windsor Garden. The next Sunday, when he and Mr. Gruber had finished their walk, Paddington led the way back towards Windsor Gardens. I'm having an outdoor exhibition of my own this week, Mr. Gruber, he said. This is meant to be a sunset in Windsor Gardens. Only it took me quite a long time and it got dark before I could finish it. And this is a picture of a rainstorm. Only it got very wet and all the paint ran. This is my best one, said Paddington. It's a picture of me. I've put my special paw mark on to show I painted it myself. Mr. Gruber gazed at Paddington's portrait for a long time. It is very good, Mr. Brown, he said at last, not wishing to upset his friend. But I think it look even better in real life. I kept going upstairs to look at myself in the mirror, said Paddington. But by the time I got downstairs again, I'd forgotten what I looked like. Painting isn't as easy as it looks, Paddington added sadly, especially with paws. I think I might give up. I hope you don't do that, Mr. Brown, Mr. Gruber said thoughtfully. After Mr. Gruber had said goodbye, Paddington sat down beside his paintings, hoping that someone would stop and buy one. But it was a warm day, and no one came past. In the end, Paddington fell asleep. When he woke up, Paddington found to his surprise that all his pictures had gone. But tucked inside his duffel coat, he found an envelope with his name on. Mr. Paddington Brown, 32 Windsor Gardens. And inside the envelope, there was some money and a note saying thank you. If Mr. and Mrs. Brown recognized Mr. Gruber's writing, they didn't say anything. They hadn't had such a peaceful time for ages. And best of all, Paddington carried on painting. So everyone was happy. I think I may paint a family portrait now, said Paddington. That is, if I have enough paint left 
for all the smiles. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. Enjoy my new series Oliver and Chumpy. 19 video books with about 500 pictures. There's text, but I also read it aloud for the younger children. I have written 65 stories and had them illustrated at great cost for your children's fun. Oliver is an elegant tomcat and Chumpy is his lady friend. Oliver loves to ride in Chumpy's pouch when they go for adventures together. Please find a link to the first book in the description of this video. Please always subscribe and like if you find my effort interesting. Thank you so much.